Hello, my name is Ellie Weaver, and thank you for watching. Today we are going to be talking about high school art classes that stimulate growth and development in teens. First of all, we are going to cover what art really is. It's basically the use of imagination to produce objects and materials that are to be appreciated. So really, art is just not just painting. It's a huge spectrum of crafts and skills that you can learn, and those are what art is. So art can be music, art can be sculpture, it can be, um, it can be sewing, it can be creative writing, it can be so many different things. But today, we are going to be covering the art skills that are taught in high school. So first off, we have music. So in the National Library of Medicine, uh, it, covered, it has a study that is saying that the stability of sound processing really helped with music. So language and communication skills skyrocket once a kid takes music classes. So this is not only just in band, but it can also be in choir, it can also be in music theory. These skills are super helpful to learn. So it can also enhance neural processing, which is a huge thing for brain development in teens. It's early, best to do that in high school so that it really can develop throughout the rest of your life. It can be helped. Um, music can also help neural processing, um, reading, and uh, speech structure. So those are other skills that you will need and it really helps develop those. So next, we have creative writing. Creative writing is a great way for teens to express ideas in their head to put on paper, which for a lot of teens, it's extremely difficult for them to do. So this really helps that. It also is a great way to help with communication. So learn, um, creative writing is a great way to learn how to advocate for yourself, which is a super, super important skill to learn. Next up, we have sewing. So sewing, it's less, it has mental benefits, but also physical benefits and social benefits, which is crazy. So with the mental benefits, it can help with cognitive skills, it can help reduce stress, and it can help um, with focus and relaxation. Uh, with the physical benefits, it can really help you see the finer details and just look and sew with cognitive skills. With the social benefits, if you rip something over a friend or on a way to an important meeting, you can easily fix that up and it's really nice to be able to do that. So next up, we have sculpture. Sculpture is a pretty difficult thing. So starting this long process of sculpting whatever clay or wood or whatever, that can really help with dedication and focus. According to Clayground, it can help with physical and mental benefits such as reducing stress. So Clayground also suggests that it helps with exercise. So sculpting, it's a huge, it uses a lot of parts of your body. So that can really help exercise and get those joints flowing. So it's also super beneficial to those prone to early onset arthritis, and also those with regular arthritis if they do sculpting later in their life. So dexterity and joint movement is definitely used in sculpting. Also, uh, sculpting can help you capture and improve memories, which is another thing that is important in the beginning of your life all the way through to the near end. So next, uh, we are gonna talk about painting. Painting, according to the American Congress of Rehabil Rehabilitation Medicine, it really impacts brain waves, emotions, and the nervous system. This is similar in drawing. Painting and draw drawing have synonymous effects, but painting helps a lot more with colors, which really helps people see the finer details in life. It can lower stress, reduce cortisol, and have deep fo focus and relaxation. So here is the drawing slide. The drawing is also does a lot of similar things. Drawing and painting both are seen to be in studies by the American Congress of Rehabilitation Medicine and seen that artists have a better memory, they are better observers, and tons of different other things. So next, we are gonna summarize this. So really, all these things, high school art classes are very important. They stimulate, like, stimulate growth and development in teens. They really work out all these, um, these cognitive things, that are, these skills that are super important for you to learn in your early years. And they help you on the later in life. I personally have taken tons of these art classes. 
I've been in band for several years. I've taken almost every art class available to me, and I can attest to everything that I've said here today. Uh, thank you for listening, and I really appreciate you.